that person just got off the elevator was trespassed from the building too. They just let anyone here. Kavina Pickford. She used to live on the third floor here, and uh, she's in with the, you know, the partying, the mess, the drinking, the cold, all the mess is going on up here. Uh, she's, you know, been causing trouble the whole time she's been here, fighting with everyone. And uh, about a year ago, year and a half ago, um, I, well, my son and I are recently escaped from human trafficking. And so, um, you know, when we got free from the abuser, I was using my crappy old car to, like, give people a ride to make a few bucks, you know, to try and survive. And one of the women I was giving a ride to, she used to live in 212, two doors down from me, and now it's somebody else in there. But uh, the, the woman who used to be in 212 ended up moving and leaving because she had a sexual relationship with... Kavinia Pickford's meth dealer, and since I was giving that woman rides, I became part of the whole conspiracy to ruin Kavinia's life, and so she's been attacking myself and my son verbally ever since, and then it became physical on the 1st of June when the next door neighbor I was trying to be friends with, uh, uh, Shanice at 218 uh, said that she'd like to have a cookout. She has some food, she doesn't have a grill. It's like, well, okay, I'd like to, you know, grill out, have a little extra hand on deck to help me cook and stuff. This would be great. So I got some food, she got some food, we used the grill, and she invited, you know, everybody. Like, we've been attacked several times in this building over racial stuff, and, you know, I'm a target because I'm disabled. And my son's disabled, you know, from being in captivity the first four years of his life. We're recovering from ownership. And so we've been attacked here half a dozen times. And the woman in 218 invited all her friends who've been attacking us and all their friends and this whole big mess. A lot of them, you know, the meth users and the drinkers and the troublemakers are the ones who are always causing problems all weekend. She invited all of them. Meanwhile, anyone I knew who came up to the grill, hey, you cooking? Can I have something? They were sent away, you know, vehemently, nastily by the group that Shanice was bringing together. And towards the end of the whole thing, uh, Kavinia told Shanice that I tried to convince my son to take this toy from her, from her son's bedroom, which of course not. And so, I mean, I've got a house full of toys. I've got toys in boxes because I don't have room for all the toys in the house. So I rotate out. So Kavinia tried to tell Shanice that I convinced my son to try and take this toy and it started this big old blow up because everyone in the group had been drinking and tweaking and everything else. You know, I'm taking care of the grill and they're going upstairs and back and upstairs and back and getting more fucked up all through the day. And it's like, well, my grill's kind of tied up here. I can't just put it in my car. You know, I'll burn everything. So it's like, well, I'm kind of stuck. My son's kind of stuck. And now this convenience trying to start this stuff in front of a whole group of drug users who've been partying all day. So it started this big old blow up. And that was like uh, the, the last day of May. And then the next day, she comes, Kavinia, back to Shanice's at 218. 
and Sinise told Kavinia, yeah, we live right next door in 216, so she came to our unit and attacked. Now, I didn't have my leg on at the time because it was an older prosthesis that didn't fit and I wore it only when strictly necessary. And when I'm sitting in my in the living room, it's not strictly necessary. So there was a pull, 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 pull it out the door. And my son, being my big helper, goes to the door and here it's Kavinia. She greets Aaron at the door with, there's that cracker baby, and swings and tries to punch him. Now I hopped there, you know, I didn't take time with leg. I hopped to the door quick as I could. You know, so this is only like a couple of seconds. And, you know, I got there just in time to get Aaron out of there and deflect the blow that she was putting to his face. And she assaulted us. That's all on security camera. She was arrested for that eventually, bonded out immediately. And there's a restraining order of 15 feet because the DA's office still thinks she lives here, even though she got evicted. You know, for all that to happen on the first weekend of June, and, you know, she didn't get evicted until almost the end of July, and then 4th of July weekend, she did it again. She and her mom were in their Ford Windstar, and my neighbor across the hall in 215 saw that Ford Windstar hit and run my minivan. My Honda Odyssey has the black bumper in front because I had to replace the bumper because Kavini and her mom hit it off in the parking lot. And then when I went downstairs, I didn't know it was them. You know, all I know is my neighbor's telling me, uh, your van just got hit by a Ford Windstar. And so I went down to try and get photos and try to make a phone call. And Kavini was out in the courtyard here trying to rile up anybody who was passing through. There's that crippled bitch who's been attacked. I mean, there's that crippled bitch who's been starting shit. You know, all this stuff. You know, there's that crippled bitch who tried to steal that toy from Shanice. You know, everything. Just trying to rile up anyone who come by. Hey, that's that bitch. Hey, that's that bitch. You know, just riling up everybody. And failing because everybody's like, not my problem and walking on past. So I'm up to the van and she comes and trounces me again. And I got maybe half a snip that I was going to put on my YouTube channel for documentation, you know. And... I got jumped while filming and nothing got done about the hit and run nothing got done about the assault on July 4th weekend even though there were tons of witnesses because only one of the witnesses who felt like saying anything wasn't you know there was only one of them who wasn't in her group so everyone who said anything was like was either they didn't see anything or that uh, that uh, I jumped her, when in fact she jumped me after her mom and she hit my van. And then she broke into my van at another point and stole all the jewelry I've been making. So I've got a whole bunch of jewelry on my Etsy shop and it's gone because Kavidia Pickford broke into my van and stole it. And I made a report on that and nothing's been done since either. It's like it's obvious that my sons and my lives do not matter because it's okay for me to be raped at knife point 410 times by a serial predator to produce my son and that's okay it's okay to be owned by this predator for five years it's not okay to be free from this predator he can still come find us and get us whatever he wants according to judge jennifer torrington and now i have these meth addict alcoholic drug users and Kavinia, with her restraining order, is living at practically, now that she's been evicted, she's all the time at 217 across the hall, 218 next door, and 203 down the hall where they cook their dope. Like they've had their door open and shooting and cooking and getting going. So, I mean... So moving forward, what, what happened today? Today, and, well... Hours? Well, like, well, like I said, she's practically been living at 217, 218, and 203. And any time and every time she's in the building, she goes up and down the hallway, complaining about the crippled bitch she's going to take down, and trying to rally the troops. In order to keep her out of the building, you would need to talk to the property manager and have the property manager here contact us about having her trespass in the building and completely stop her from trespassing. 
So I understand that she's been evicted, or that you say that she's been evicted, but that doesn't mean that she's not allowed in the building. So you have to be trespassed in the building to not be here at all. And then if there's a protection order that is in place, also says that they can't be in the building. So if that needs to be modified as well, you'll have to go to the courthouse and have some type of documentation from there saying that she's been evicted from the building, she no longer lives here, and you would like the restraining order to reflect that she does not live here anymore to increase that distance back to the 100 yards or the place of your residence so that she can't be here at all. Well, I've told the DA's office a few times that she got evicted and that the restraining order needs to be updated, and they say they'll get right on that. And the first time I've gotten a copy of the restraining order was this past week, and it still says 15 feet. I can't actually go to the courthouse because I have my five-year-old son who's going to wake up any minute. So, you know, I'm trying to get him into school, but, you know, with my son being special needs, I'm fighting to get him into a therapy school, and Trump Care is jacking with me on that and the authorization to get him into school. So we're sitting here in limbo. You know, like I said, I've you know, made multiple phone contacts, you know, to and from the DA's office and they say they're gonna do it and they don't do it. Well at this point that's the documentation that we have to go off of. Okay. With that with that we send more stipulations out to where we can come in until it's modified. Well, the restraining order also stipulates that she can't use people to harass and stalk and bother. She can't be issuing threats. I mean, she's right outside my door talking about killing the crippled bitch. That's what woke me up this morning, was hearing her drunk AF talking about to the group how she's going to kill the crippled bitch and the cracker baby. She's always on it. She obsesses over it. She's going to kill us, and it's cool because she's allowed close enough to cough COVID on us. I mean, she, she's allowed almost as close as I'm standing to you right now. And she's right outside the door nearly every day, tweaking and drinking and doing coke and doing everything else and threatening to kill my son and me. And we have to hear that in our apartment almost every single day. That's, you're, you're allowed to stand right out someone's door and make death threats? If anyone tries that outside your house, you'd have back up to six feet. So it's like, it, you know, somebody, you know, somebody needs to do something about this. You know, I'm not going to just sit in my apartment and wait for this meth addict to kill my son and myself because I was giving taxi rides to somebody who boinked her meth dealer. That's what all this is about. That's why my son and I have to die because Deshaun boinked her meth dealer a year and a half ago. That's what all this is. So she broke into my van, which also a violation of the restraining order because she broke into my van. She stole all my jewelry, which is all over my Etsy shop, so that's verifiable. I've got photos and values of everything. So... That was previously, that was today she was at your door? Today she was Walking right out the the door. outside the door. Walking on the door and threatening to do what? Kill the crippled bitch of the cracker baby. Okay. Just like she, that's her mantra, that she's going to kill the cracker bitch of the cracker baby. Because what this, this morning at 4 a.m. woke me there up. There video footage upstairs, you know? Yeah, there's security cameras, Upstream assuming they're working. Floor? On your floor? Yeah, right at the end of the hallway. Okay. Right. She, uh, like I said, she practically she lives here. Standing right outside the door, bellering her and a whole group of people. Uh, okay. Huh? Okay. So this is what it comes down to. Okay. As far as today goes. All right. Um. I can't prove she's evicted, which that's fine. Okay, that doesn't matter. Um, management it, 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 it's, 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 hear me out, okay? I know you're frustrated. I can see because 
It, it's okay I, I, I for her to do so whatever she wants. She's tried understand. to kill okay. us twice. But you gotta understand, we also have to go off restraint order in the violation. Okay. Well, what happened a month ago, two months ago, we can't enforce that today. Okay. However, as far as coming over today, knocking on the door, saying she's gonna kill the crippled bitch or whatever she says. Okay. Um, that would be something that we could enforce. The, the problem is going to be reports, and uh, the defendant is still going to follow up, but like a partner said, you need to meet with the management, like ASAP today, and tell them that they need to officially trespass her from the building, so she can't even be inside the building. Okay, as far as where you end up going, Maybe they, I know it sucks, but maybe they can get her trespass, and maybe you can move to another part of the building. Not saying that's right, but we'll get you out of that upstairs level. It sounds like she has a lot of friends to hang out in, on that floor, so maybe you can talk to her, talk to the management about moving to a different level of the uh, of the building. Okay, so if she is, she's still in there, you know, she's still in the building. It's been two hours since she called. She's in and out all day, all okay. night, every day, every night. What time she did she come over here. today? What time? Did she she woke me up at 4 a.m. Bell her in right outside. She on your door saying, let's go to the table bit. She was right, she was out in the did hallway you yelling. That, that, that pee hole there. Yes. Okay. Oh, no, she no. didn't knock. She was right outside Bell her and her and a group of people she, getting she them riled up to attack. At, at, she was yelling as she was walking by your door. Hanging outside my door. Hanging outside your door. Okay. All right. What's well, it's uh it's a call into state center anyway. So we'll get a quick statement from you with your quick DO and uh, we'll do a quick report. And um and again it'll be up to the DA's office. You gotta understand, I know you're frustrated with us, you're frustrated with the courts. COVID has screwed up a lot of things. So things that should be happening a lot quicker. Are not happening as quick because of COVID. There's only half staff at the courthouse, okay? So they probably have a stack of this big of complaints and changes in order and whatnot, check order. So it's not that we don't care or they don't care. There's just right now everything is really backlogged like months, okay? So as far as what you can do, you can talk to them. Unfortunately, it secures the building is. It doesn't prevent anyone from letting her in the building. It, exactly. Can, oh, I know, that's the problem. Seven is and constantly that, and going and down those stairs building. and letting her that's in. That's the problem with any secured building in this district. Anywhere in the city, anywhere in the state, friends let their friends in, and that's what they do. So, um, so as far as that, um, how are you placed here? Are you, are, you, are you placed here through government? I'm on a section, a eight, section eight choice voucher. Okay, yeah. all right. So there, um, you can also put in to change locations. There's section eight uh, all I, over I've, the city. Yeah, I, I've been looking. Okay, because, because to be honest with you, this building, there's a lot of bad shit in this building. I know. I know, that's the same. And if you have a five-year-old child and you don't want to put up with it, you probably want to put in a, put in a, a movement and see if you can move to another section. Right, I, I, I've been trying that, that too. That takes time. It, it, it took two months to get assigned to four different case workers because they kept flipping and flopping and switching. Yeah. And by the time I finally got an actual case worker who's here for more than a week, you know, finding anything else that's Section 8, it's cockroaches, it's gangs, it's tweakers, yeah, it's the I know. same no, I know. thing. We know this building very well. So my, my son and I are pursuing refugee status outside the country because of the human trafficking yeah. and because of the Well, targeting. it's not any better near the country. It's, uh, you know, there's one. all over the country. Oh, there's one the that's good. There's one that's good. There, uh, it's, I, I was looking at uh, Canada, but they've got a pretty bad human trafficking problem too. So I found... That, New Zealand, very low crime, very low drugs, very yeah, good maybe. society. Everybody's friendly. It's super yeah. great. That there's this town right by Lake Talpa where the climate's always wonderful. Like I could legit have a garden year round, and maybe a couple days a year I gotta put a blanket over my roses. Yeah. I mean, it's. Yeah. 
not there yet. I, I mean, there's no meth, there's no crack arrest. The, the worst drug problem is marijuana, and they're working on legalizing it. Otherwise, point no percent of any arrests have to do with drugs. And yeah. if they do, it's tourists. Yeah. So, yeah, but as far as it's concerned, you need to apply for a movement request. You need to see if they can get her trust passed. Um, I know you tried to change the order, but obviously it hasn't gone into effect yet. Uh, the only reason we're doing something today is because she came to your door. She has no reason to come to your door. She's and she has no reason to threaten you. Now, she can be in this building. It says she can be in the ingress, egress at any time. She can visit people. I don't say anything about evictions. I'm not saying she's not evicted. Okay, but the only reason that we are able to do a report today is because she came to your door, knocked on it, and threatened to kill you. She was right outside the door That's with the her and her group today. of friends, like but, always. But it, it's never that, any different that, any other gonna, day. You need, you need to find another location probably and work on that like you're trying. It, it, it's but. not any different any other day. Like I said, she practically lives there. She's always making verbal go. threats. It's a go. It's a CR. No, it's a CR warrant. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's a CR order. Okay. Please do an offense report, victim, whisper, suspect, and that's it. Do a statement. Super easy. So they quick statement. Now, like I said, the important part of this statement is you have to say that there is an active restraining order, that she came to your door, outside your door, knocked on your door, saying she wanted to I, I her, came to your door and was saying, I'm going to fucking kill you, cripple bitch, whatever, okay? That needs to be very clear in here because she can be in this building, she can be in the ingress and egress. If so, it's not going to be enforced. So as long as you can say, and go in front of a judge and say that she came to your door, whether she knocked on it or not, and started threatening you, that's the only reason we have a violation here. So just so you're clear. She does it, that every single day. But if she's in the hallway... She does it every single day. If she's day. in the hallway, listen, if she's in the hallway, okay, if she's visiting friends, it's not a violation. Well, she does it every no, single day. She does it. Her and 217 yeah, are it. always right I'm just, outside I'm just to my door to you. making threats. Yeah, that's why we're doing the report. But I'm just trying to make it clear to you why why we're able to do a report today, okay, based on that information. This is an everyday thing. Yeah, and we'll we'll document it today and make sure you put that in there as well, that the last couple of weeks, every day, whatever, but we're going to focus on today what happened at 4 a.m., okay? Okay. All right? Uh, do you have a pen, please? Thank you. So, the name, address, telephone number, and Okay. And yeah, you say she was evicted from here. She she does not she does not have a residence here. She doesn't have an apartment here. So she really has no reason to be outside your door. Exactly. So I'm, I'm trying to help you out with statements. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you need to put. I know there's a lot been going on the last couple months with her, but those are the key key elements we have and we need to be able to enforce the protection order. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to pull it up, the OCA with the CR. I can handle it. Okay. 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 Do you have do you have a physical copy of that restraining order? Um, upstairs, yeah. Okay. All right. But yeah, so, it's, so, it's so, so typically for a future reference, if you call, make sure you have that with you. Okay. To show us it's been stamped and signed by a judge. Okay. okay. We have it in our well, computer system. Right, that's what but, I said. But it's beneficial to have a physical copy as well, so you can say, yeah, we saw a physical copy. Because sometimes that computer system isn't always updated in real time. 
so. Uh, okay, because uh, I've always been told, oh, don't worry, they've got it in their computer. Well, I don't know who told you that, but we're supposed we're supposed to look for a physical copy as well as an online copy. So just for future reference, okay? Okay. Um, what's today's date? You need to worry about that. Okay. Yeah, just you, yeah, just you write card. As long as we have your name, date of birth, and phone number, that's all we need. <laughs> you need to go check on your five-year-old? Uh, he's uh, usually asleep until like eight. So I've got like a minute. I was going to say okay. though that I'm going to have to get up there. Why don't you go up there, fill the statement out, and then when you're done, we'll be right here. Uh, I, I don't have much to say. That's fine. Do you have a phone, like a cell phone? Yeah. Okay, so next time she does this too, put your phone through the, the, the eye hole so you can get her visually in front of your door. Okay, no. Okay. Also write quote unquote the exact words she said. Yeah. And how many times she said it. She did anything else that made you feel uncomfortable or threat. Okay. Guess that's impossible this morning. I don't know. You did. You were on it. <laughs> you were on it. I haven't made it that far. <laughs> these like organic breakfast burritos that bind up those like eating creepers. Grab that a banana and a, some, a nice four ounces of four cups of coffee and well four cups in the coffee thing. <laughs> so I guess it's like <laughs> one no mug worth. One one mug worth. But I do like a th I do like a seventy five I do like a three to one uh, no, two to one. A what? Three to two ratio. Oh, okay. So I do like for if I do four cups of coffee it's three to two. Yeah. Because it should have much more. But you know what does work is that pumpkin cold brew. That thing gets me rocking. Pumpkin cold brew Starbucks. I get that around 10:30 every day. Wake it right up. High caffeine. Get you going. Clearly. Yeah. I like how your shoes match your purse. I a styling. I needed sandals and I needed a fanny pack. I went to Walmart and they had both. It's like y'all knew I was coming. Oh, good. The whole thing, this is like five bucks. The shoes are on sale for like seven. Ah, there you go. Those clothes, I just feel restricted today. I won't wear it in the wintertime unless it's like it. freaking snowy out. Yeah. I'm going to try to get, get, get some detective training during wintertime. <laughs> Go off the street for a couple of months. <laughs> That's why I put in for it in November. Oh, that's right. You get a class. What class is it again? Oh, it's verbal judo, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? I think I did class called the United States, but it was the same class. It's pretty good, actually. I liked it. I, I wouldn't have, like, dragged my feet, but it was actually pretty close. I had that one. Ooh. 
to do a lot of times. I still have 12 hours of CC. I've got to focus. I've been watching two hours of videos a day. I'm definitely done. Because I looked online and looked at the report that, that was sent to post, because that's a little about the post. Oh, yeah. And then I went back through my first one training, because all the trainings have to be an hour long. They're under an hour long count. Yeah, I know. And so I went back through and there was three, there was three different classes that were not on the post day. One of them was two hours. So there was four hours that were missing after the post had. And then he said that I only had one hour of fire But I had my shotgun call as well. So there was another hour there. The call count is... Really? I didn't know that. Why do you put those in? They should do it because they have a call slip. It's an hour with the training. Uh, Rage does that or am I supposed to send a copy to... I'm pretty sure you definitely should have a copy of every call. Yeah, every call. Okay, if I do that. She has a copy list for everything. She has way too much time on her hands. But, so, because I have that list missing as well, and then everything. The improvised explosive class was on there, but that I had I had Krav Maga on Monday, and I had Judo, Verbal Judo tomorrow. Next Monday I have ATT and Rock, and then on the end of the month I have Emotional Intelligence. So I'll be doing five... Emotional Intelligence, that's the, that's the military thing. I'm surprised they give you all this to you. That's awesome. Like they used to be so restrictive on who who, who gets the classes and shit. That's awesome. Are oh, you on your days off? Yeah, because I can put today to my trip to weekend. Okay. And uh, I think I need to put the date and time on there, okay. y'all. Or okay. Oh, here, here, here. maybe the I can sanitize your. Yeah, th this is an everyday thing. She's always at 217. She's always at 218. She's always at 203. She so, still lives here even though she's ready to right here. When you call down to the courts again, show them that she did it again. Okay. Hope it'll speed the process up. All right. Okay. And extend the distance. I mean, they know she's been evicted. Yeah, I've told to, them all this. If you can get a copy of the eviction, see if you get a copy of the eviction paperwork from the manager to bring to the court. They can update that. So okay. it's really, she should, she's a big stay away from the building. Exactly. I but mean, she's again, coming here with the like sole she was purpose. Here and it, it just helps our job with the say she can't be in the building, then it's even easier to enforce. Right. So, yeah, I'm, again, I'm working on that, but trying to reach yeah. a human in the straight answers department. Yeah, so like I said, it'd be, it's half staff right now. You're not gonna get, it's, it takes time. Right. Everything is slow. Car, car registration is taking months. Yeah, yeah, I know. Everybody has out of date plates. I can't yeah. even get an appointment to get yeah. in. I've got a license yeah. applied for paper in my windshield. Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, so. So, thank you. And then, yeah, I'll put that.